You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Following the shooting in Allen June 30th, which resulted in the death of several officers and K-9 Drago, the Floyd County Sheriff's Office was left without a K-9 officer. In December, the department introduced K-9 Officer Bear, followed by K-9 Officer Mako in January. I'll put it as simple as this. There, there is no better as, <clears throat> asset in law enforcement than a K-9. Uh, they open so many different doors. Uh, they assist you more than anyone can imagine. When it comes to a K-9, you know, obviously, everyone wants to think of them as a pet, but you have to realize that they're just like a taser, a gun, they're like a tool on your belt. Uh, they help you catch people that run from you. They help you find illegal drugs that's on our streets. And, I mean, that's something that you can't really want to try to get control of enough modern day because we all know how the drug epidemic is in our local communities. Both canines Bear and Mako are dual-purpose dogs who specialize not only in drug detection, but apprehension and tracking. So, uh, canine Mako, uh, he was purchased through the Kent, uh, Kent Rose Foundation, the donations that they took up for the Drago Fund. Uh, with that being said, uh, the other funds that was left, well, it was used to purchase all the canine equipment, uh, equipment for the cars, uh, several pieces of equipment for canine Bear as well. The cruiser, uh, they have to be specially made with a canine kennel to house the dog. Uh, my cruiser, along with Deputy Mays, it also has a two-thirds passenger compartment. So along with the dog, we can haul a prisoner as well. Uh, the back of the cruiser, we have to carry numerous items for the dog, uh, reward toys, bite sleeves, just various things, med kits. So, I mean, we're equipped a little bit better than most of the guys at the other department. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.